just recently there was a research paper that came out by a now friend of mine, Dr. McLossey, and in that paper she has Coke and Hill causality for neurospiroketosis causing Alzheimer's disease. Now when you first see that you go, what the heck are you talking about? Well let me translate it. Coke and Hill postulate is a scientific approach for causality. Causality is almost impossible to get in any area. Cholesterol is not even considered Coke and Hill postulate for causality for heart uh, disease. So that kind of shows you how far along this is. Now, neurospiroketosis. What the heck is that? I mean, we all had to study spirochetes, but what does that mean? Well, think about it this way. There's an oral uh, bacteria called Treponema denticola, and is a spirochete. And Treponema denticola is now associated with Alzheimer's disease. And it is looking like it plays a major, major role, possibly even a causative role, in Alzheimer's disease. Now, how do we treat that? You can't really treat the person that already has Alzheimer's. But if we raise the bar, this goes back to my thoughts on awareness. If we can get people earlier on in life to pay attention to the importance of their overall health through their oral health, then we can help reduce the chance for that to show up. You can actually test for treponema denticola with oral DNA testing. So there is such a coming together of all the pieces of oral systemic health that are just astonishing in my eyes, and they will be for all of us as this plays out, we are going to be in a key role once again to help reduce a lot of suffering. I'll tell you, we don't want to wait for something like Alzheimer's to show up in somebody's life, and we don't want that to happen to anybody. So, once again, this is one of those things where, even though my voice is going down, we don't want to whisper about this. We've got to shout it out on how important oral health is for overall health. Take a look at AOSH and consider coming to our meeting in September because uh, Dr. McClossey is going to present and she's going to expand her research there. So we should have some real unique perspectives on the effects of oral health and how it affects Alzheimer's disease. So please give me your comments on this. I, this one's a real passionate one for me and I would love to hear from you.